I've run flat up against the wall. Ah, excellent. Now, back down we go, and there will be a new friend waiting for us at the bottom of the ladders as well. Not this ladder, the next ladder. Also, yeah, that's gonna die. You're gonna die if you fall off here. Don't fall off. What does this say? Okay. Good job. Good job, sir. Down we go. And oh, hello there. Who are you? Greetings. I am Oswald of Kareem, the part. No appearance to like this. Yet magnanimous are the gods. Come if I confess. Or to accuse. For indeed all sins might depend. So Basically, Oswald. Also, this is the gesture we use to taunt people with them, bosses in particular, and then we get thrashed while we're doing it. But you've got to do it, it's just how it is. So, Oswald here is Im basically implied to be the person that threw Lautrick in prison. But why did he do this? Is it because Lautrick is a big old bag of dicks, or is it because Oswald is a big old bag of dicks? We will find out later. Also, Purging Stone, if you get cursed, come do this immediately, because if you're cursed, then you have half of your max HP until you break the curse. And the Book of Indictment, the Indictment and Book of the Guilty are like um, PvP items, doesn't matter. And he has a Miracle, and a Talisman, and some rings. Uh, both useful if you're struggling in areas where poison and bleeding are a thing. And a Ring of Sacrifice, you keep all your souls in humanity when you die, but then the ring breaks. So, if you think you're gonna die, you know, pretty good. It is only human to commit a sin. <laughs> As you can see, Oswald is properly, properly mad. So now, we are going to go down into the lower undead berg first, I think. Yes, we will, we will fight the next boss down there, and then after we fight that boss, then I think we will go and do Dark Root Basin and Havel. Because me, me and Havel, we have a score to settle one way or the other. It's it's probably going to be Havel that wins, but you never know. So we're going to just stab through these nasty men who were smart enough to not enter the fuck zone at the top of the ladder. But now they're all dead, so, you know, the fuck zone moves, apparently. Oh, I was going to jump off, but that would anger, anger the Balder Knights, and I don't want to do that particularly. So we must go down to Firelink Shrine, and, um... I think Lautrec will be down there, because he moves down there, of course, and we can have another chat with him, get our reward, and he should give us the humanity, if uh, if he's so inclined to do so. Also, you can jump off here, get up there, and then go up there. We'll be doing that later on. There's some things up there that we do need to do at one point or another. And I think, does Petrus have his friends yet? Is that now? No, no, I'm, I'm completely mad. Apparently. And when does Petrus get his friends then? I guess it's like the depths ish. Oh, he has new things to say though. What do you got? Why, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to make it. Somebody Wait, was it you? You never give up, do you? I don't know how you do it. Well, don't stop now. What is going on? Only one more. But it's going to be suicide. <laughs> Cheerful as always. Oh wait, we don't need to rest, because I didn't actually use any Estus. I still have ten Estus, so that's good. Is Lautrick down here yet? No. He'll be down here at one point or another. Uh, I think if I save and quit, that'd make him respawn there, but eh, that's, that's, that's too much effort. So now, we need to go back over to the Dragon Bridge. The Drake Bridge. And we're gonna go the long way, because we don't want to get flamed on the bridge, so... Bear with me as I backtrack through the Berg. Something I realized that we didn't do while on the way back over was we never uh, we never had a Barney with Sauron over here, did we? So we're gonna go and get in a Barney with him now. Aren't we, mate? Aren't we? That's alright. Come on. Come on. Now, we don't want to fight him down here, though, because it's very cramped. We'd rather fight him up here, if at all possible. Come on. Come on. There we go. There's a little bit more room to move around up here. Come on. Come on. Come on. So we want to... Backstab him. If you're uh, more pro than I am, he's actually pretty easy to parry and then just repost. But I'm not. I, I mean, that's, I'm not that good. 
I mean, when you come here, you don't come here for top quality gameplay of, like, people going through the game naked, like, dodge rolling things. No. You come here to see cheese tactics and hiding behind a shield like a coward. Ah! Yes, now you're dead. Are you gonna drop your weapon? No, of course not. And we can finally get the ring that was hiding behind him as well. It's not very good, but we're, like, wearing no rings right now, so... What does this message say? I did it! Oh, good job, good job, sir. Blue tier stern ring. And what that does is boost defense when HP is low. But honestly, it's not gonna save you. Like, what the hell was that? If your HP is low, the defense boost is not... Because it's like under 20%. If your health is under 20%, you need more than a defense boost to save you, my man. You're gonna you need like our Lord and Savior Jesus to save you. You're gonna be You're gonna be crying for Jesus to take the wheel. I mean I kinda wanna try. We're gonna try. We're gonna give it a go. Now what we do with Havel is uh, we strip naked. Reason being is that Havel is going to one-shot us regardless of our armor, so we might as well just be fast, honestly. And I mean, Havel the Rock is the Rock, so obviously we have to get naked and wrestle him, you know? It's not weird. Alright, Havel, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Mm. Ugh. It's... Oh god, gonna die. Oh, didn't die! Yeah! Mmm! Alright. Almost died there. It came very close to dying. Uh. Oh god, it's it's very scary. It's very, very scary. Come on. Come on. Oh, if you roll too soon, he can, like, turn on a dime as well and hit you. So you've got to roll, like... Oh, uh, and we got one shot. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Didn't go great. Didn't go great. Didn't go great. We could kill him, though. Because it wouldn't have actually taken very many more backstabs to kill him. Hmm. Maybe we try again. Also, yes, we are, uh... Very sexy now. Very sexy indeed. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay, we're almost there. Just a little more. Now, I, I personally don't think I was very close to that. Alright, here we go again, Havel. Here we go again. This is this is the one. This is this is the time. This is the time. I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get ya. You're not difficult. I'm just fucking it up. Something something fierce. Come on, Havel. Come on, Havel. Alright, come on. There we go. In the back, through the shield, no big deal. Oh. In the back, again. There we go. Come on. Oh. Oh, God, I'm alive! What? I mean, I don't entirely think I should be? But I am, and that's, that's the important thing. Alright. Alright, Havel, come on. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. <laughs> Fucked it up. Fucked it up. Fucked it up again. Fucked it up again. Look, everybody's got that one thing in life they can't do very well, right? Like, some people just, you know, they can't do math, you know? It just, it doesn't work. Some people, you know, they're, it's, you know, they, they, there's, there's issues people have in life is the, 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 the crux of what I'm getting at here. And for me, the thing I can't do very well is kill Havel in a timely fashion. Oh, God. Because, you see, you see, you see, Havel, old Havel here is just, he's just a big old bag of dicks. He's just like, you know, the biggest, the biggest bag of pure dicks. Aren't you, Havel? Aren't you, Havel? 
Oh god. Come on. <laughs> oh god. Come on. You know what? It's tempting to just back up and firebomb him. Because I've, I, I, I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, I'm scared. I'm, I'm very scared of the, what the rock is cooking. What the rock is cooking? It terrifies me. Oh god! I just, I don't have time. I don't have time. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. Oh god! Oh. Is he dead? Oh my god, oh. Oh, we got him. Oh, oh god, oh, it was... It was so scary. It was so, so scary. So Havel's ring. Boosts maximum equipment load. So, now we basically have a boost, a boosted amount of endurance. Which is not, as far as carrying capacity is concerned. So, basically, if we were doing the big sexy, we would probably, that would actually just do the normal roll. Which is nice, we want it later for when we get, like, some actual armor, armor. But we decided to do it now, because, I mean, we just did. We just decided to do it. And we did it. I might have died to him a few times. But it's okay, because I never lost my souls, and I never lost my humanity. Are you proud of me, Drake? Yeah, you are. So this is, um, the mystery key. I, does the master key open this as well? I can't remember exactly all the things the master key opens. So this leads us down to Lower Undeadburg, where we will be fighting the Capra Demon. The Capra Demon's a lovely boss fight. He um, never kills anybody ever. Oh wait, that was a lie. Well, like, mm, to be fair. Also, this uh, takes us back up into Undeadburg. Look, over there is where the bonfire is. The thing is with the fight we're coming up on is that it's not even actually the Capra Demon that kills people. It's uh, the the dogs in the arena with him. Actually, I'm 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 gonna go and spend some of these souls because I'm I'm afraid I'll die to the Capra Demon. After that after that performance with hello, who are you? Where did you come from? Oh hello, the dog followed us. The dog jumped to its death. That wasn't very smart of you. After that debacle with uh, Havel, I'm a bit concerned that I might just uh, stuff the Capra Demon fight, and then I'll be unable to use my souls, which would be quite, quite unfortunate. So what we're going to do is level up. What we're going to do is... I wish I could remember what the main thing... I'm pretty sure it's Dex that I want to increase. But we're going to increase Vit, Endurance, and Dex. No, we're going to increase... Like so. And now, I am going to... Actually, that's about all I can... That's all I can really do with the souls is level up, because... I can't upgrade the Claymore anymore, can I? Hmm, hmm. Well, you know, I thought we were going to do more with our souls, but we're not. We're, we're actually not, because, uh, yeah. Basically, I need an item out of the depths to, which is where we're going after the cat. We're gonna be going there shortly after the Capra Demon, and I need an item from there to be able to upgrade the Claymore any more than it already is. So we're just gonna we're just gonna have to win. We're just gonna have to do a lot better than we did against Havel. Basically, is what's gonna have to happen. But first, before we do that, we need to go down this way. The dog is not following us. There's an NPC in here. Somebody, please let me out of here. Somebody, anybody, help me. Unlock the door. Damn, I'm finished. How did this ever happen? This is why we bought the residence key, by the way. Because even though the master key opens the other doors the residence key opens, it doesn't open this one. How bizarre is that? Proper spooky. Brilliant. You opened the door for me. Thank you. I'm safe. 
I thought I might never escape. I am Griggs of Vinheim, a sorcerer of the school. I am much obliged for your assistance. Thanks to you, I may now resume my travels. And we talk to him again. Oh, hello. I'm fine. I will rest a while, then return to Firelink. Oh, hello. I have my sorcery. And I will be more cautious next time. Besides, I have an important task at hand. Are you seeing that? You having a problem there? You okay, buddy? How do I take damage? How did he hit me? Did you see that? Proper weird. Anyway, there's a body over here. Give me your loot. And this is sorcerer gear. Yeah, we're not a sorcerer. Nor will we ever be a sorcerer. It's just, I'm, I'm not an intelligent man. So, you know, I couldn't possibly be a sorcerer. My spells my spells wouldn't do any damage, because I'm not intelligent enough. That's how it is. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That little rush he does, if you're unlucky, can actually kill you with these uh, fire dudes, because the fire, of course, does more damage. Ow, ow, ow. Do you see how I was getting wrecked there? Because he hit me with his little flurry. Oh, poke. Oh, well, it wasn't quite a poke, it was more of a cleave, but, you know, whatever. And twin humanities, yeah. Two humanity is better than one humanity. So, now we're going to go over this way, and uh, we're about to have some fun. I'm actually going to use a humanity to heal, because I want to save my Estus for the Capra Demon, if possible. So, we are in the wrong part of the neighborhood, basically. And these, uh, ninjas, of all things, don't oblige much to us being here. So we have to, unfortunately, we have a difference of opinions. They would like me to take up a hobby, which is being dead, and I would rather continue my current hobby of being not stabbed to death. So I had to stab them. And there's an item in this room. Ah, it's a mail breaker. We'll never use that. But we have it. And now down here will be some more ninjas, and also some dogs. If possible, we only want to fight the ninjas. Because fighting the dog at the same time is a bit of a pain that we'd rather not deal with. Ow, I got stabbed. Also, the thing they're inflicting me with is um, bleed. Basically, if that bar fills up, I'm going to take a lot of damage very suddenly. Best avoided. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. Ah, uh, yeah. Hello, dog. So they can parry you, by the way. They can also backstab you. Um, both things we don't want. Mm, I don't really want to use the humanity. Uh, it's free. Mm, I mean, okay. I don't want to use another humanity, so. Haha! -ha! How dare you! Oh, well. Got two bits of his armor in for one. Not a bad, Not a bad deal. So, there's something in here. Is it prisoner? Maybe. I don't know. You know, get that message out of here. And this is what we would start with if we were a thief. And then over here is a man in a barrel. Give me your things. Come on. There we go. Large soul of a lost undead. We'll never use that either, probably. And one more doggy. Now, of course, doggy still had to hit it. Come on. Do something. Come on. There we go. Ah, oh, come on. Alright. So it's time for the Capra Demon. I want to heal the full. So basically there's two dogs in here with the Capra Demon. And the issue is that when you walk through, it's pretty easy to just get wrecked by the two dogs. And then the Capra Demon comes in and finishes you off. So hopefully that's not going to happen. <laughs> Oh god, it's it's not great. But we got up here, which is where we were angling to get. So basically, we don't really want the Capra Demon up here with us. We'd rather just have the two dogs. What we ideally want to do right now... Oh, so I'm going to use a Humanity because I want a full heal here. What we want to do... Excuse me? Excuse, ex excuse me? Do you want to run that one by me again? So apparently I was just in range to get wrecked by that. 
So, as I was saying, what we were trying to do, what we were trying to do in our ideal world, was separate the dogs from the Capra Demon. Kill the two dogs, and then the Capra Demon himself is not very hard. Unfortunately, what ended up happening was we got stuck on the dogs, then the Capra Demon followed us up there and was wrecking us, and then we basically just continued to get wrecked for a while, and then I accidentally rolled and got wrecked by these guys. So it was all in all a bit of a mess, and uh, now now I have to pick up that eight humanity because it would be quite tragic if I lost it. So bear with me as I fight the ninjas again. All right, here we go again. Please don't get wrecked by the dogs. Getting wrecked by the dogs. Did you see it? It just poked me in the shin. It was unpleasant overall. Oh god. Pick up the souls if nothing else. Come on. Gotta get away from him. Gotta get away from him. Very lucky to have not died right there. Alright, now this is this is more of what we wanted. Because now we can kill these two dogs. And now it's just us and the Capra Demon. And just the Capra Demon is a pretty okay situation. Because you see, we can block the Capra Demon, which is nice. And we can just sort of, like, get him attack. Hopefully not get wrecked. And then, like, wait for him to attack, and then we attack him. You know, the standard, the standard fare. We just, uh, we're gonna be a bit lame about it, though. Because we're a little, a little afraid of dying. Because we've already died so many times today. Let's not die again. I mean, this is basically all he does. Like, the Capra Demon himself is not very hard. He's even, like, a regular enemy later in the game. Like, not even a boss. The only reason he's difficult now is because you've got this really tiny space to fight him in. And he's got two dogs with him. It's brutal. But yeah, that was more sort of roughly what you want to try and do. You want to try and get the two dogs up this staircase. And then kill the two dogs. And then you can just sort of have your way with the Capra Demon. And hopefully, like, not let that happen. Hopefully he doesn't do that to you twice. Oh dear, we're stuck in the corner. Come on. Please. Please. Okay. So yeah, you don't want him to uh, do that little charge attack twice either, because you can't block it. And he did it to me twice in a row, and I'm pretty glad I survived. Glad I upgraded that vitality now. Come on. Yep. So yeah, we're doing this super slow, because basically I'm out of Estus and I don't want to die again today. Oh, there we go, we got him. Oh, great success. So yeah, it didn't go super well. What I mean, we got wrecked by Havel earlier, like, a bunch of times, so, you know, I mean, it couldn't, couldn't really go much worse from that point on, and that went better. There's a guy behind this corner, by the way. He likes to try and gank people as they walk by. He's very rude. Hello, sir. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. You're not the Capra Demon or Havel, are you? No. Now you're just a ragdoll on the floor. Ha ha. Kick you around. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. I take you up the stairs. So that over there is the de the de the de the de the de the de the depths. But we don't want to go down there just yet. Because first we want to come up here. We've actually finished Undead Ber the Lower Undead Berg. It's, I'm not sure why this guy is here. We finished Lower Undead Berg at this point. It's just the Capra Demon basically, and then it goes straight into the depths. But first we want to go over this way, chat to this lovely lady. So she's properly mad as well. Uh, you actually want to buy some of these here, these here doodads, because, uh, yeah, that's going to be important later. Mm. 
and she sells a bunch of other things. Transient Curse is also very helpful later as well, because we have to fight some ghosts, and you can only fight them while you're either cursed, which you don't want to be, or while using a Transient Curse. And she sells a couple other things, we don't want any of them. <laughs> and now, we're gonna go over this way, and this will open up a shortcut back to the Firelink Shrine. And we're gonna rest there, because of course we're bone dry on our Estus, our delicious Sunny D container. It is empty, and that won't do. Also, we didn't speak to Lautric back there yet either, so he should be there by now. Hopefully, anyway. So we're gonna go back there. We have to kill the rat, though. You have to kill the rat every time you come through, because he might drop a humanity. You gonna do it? Man. He never does it either. But you gotta do it, because the one time you don't do it is the time you would have done it. It's just how life is. Come on. Oh. Whoa. Jesus. Calm down, sir. Uh, and stabbed. Uh -huh, uh huh. I will confess that uh, back in time, I would try. I tried to. Uh, many playthroughs ago, this was. I tried to do a jumping attack off there and hit that guy. Didn't work very well. In fact, I fell to my death. It was uh, rather shameful, and I've never done it since. Ah, never let it be said I'm one who doesn't learn from my mistakes. And now I will punish. And now I will punish this man. Yes. Goodbye, sir. And. Oh God, what am I doing? Hello, sir. Oh yes, you're back here as well. Let's have a chat. Oh hello. I regret meeting you under such compromising circumstances. But at least we both made it back unscathed. Incidentally, would you care to learn any sorceries? You're clearly talented, and besides, I owe you. And of course, we will require some materials, but I'm happy to teach you some elementary spells. Are you interested? I mean, I'll say yeah. Splendid. Very well. I am pleased to have a chance to give something back. Well then. But, I mean, you know, he sells these things, and, you know, I'm sure they're nice if you're mage. But I'm not. Goodbye then. Do stay safe. And you. Have fun. Now we're gonna rest at the Yaldi bonfire. 